With 197 countries and over 7.5 billion people, $10 means something different to everyone. However, there's two countries that couldn't be more different, of the poorest country of Burundi and the richest of Luxembourg. So today, with the help of my friend Colin, we're gonna be seeing the best, most bizarre, and most fun you can have on $10. Breakfast time, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm having a little bit of trouble finding a place. For example, looking at this coffee shop, a coffee costs something like six dollars. So yeah, that's um, that's what we're dealing with here. <sighs> okay, okay, I think I got it. So I should have known this because I've been spending a lot of time in France. But there's one place, pretty much all across Europe, specifically very close to France, that's almost. I guess you would say like forced to keep their price lower. See, back in 1775 in France, people started to raise their prices for bread. And let's just say people started to not be too happy. Starting one of the most famous revolutions in the history of the world. And since then, prices for bread and pretty much at all bakeries, they've stayed pretty stable. So my thought is with Luxembourg being so close to France, there will also be bakeries here with a cheap price. Oh my gosh, the only way I can describe the bakery it smells like your childhood dreams in a smell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think I found the literal best thing in Luxembourg for $1.50. Chocolate, flaky, dream. Which means welcome to Burundi. You must be wondering, for $10, how can you have an amazing experience? Well, I would ask myself the same question if I were not in Burundi. We are on the road to the market, there is many street vendors, we will see what we can get. This guy says success. One pair is 1000 francs. Oh wow guys, this is this is probably the biggest onion that I've ever seen in my life. It's cost 2000 francs. It looks really good. Wow, look at this site. This is our downtown, guys. Now, one of the biggest advantages we have being in Luxembourg is it's one of the smallest countries in the world. So, of course, there's public transportation, but you can pretty much walk wherever you want in about 20 minutes. Right now, we're headed to experience something that I truly... I didn't even know it was possible. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the panoramic elevator. Oh, <laughs> take a look at this. Holy crap, I feel like I'm in Willy Walker's Chocolate Factory's elevator, where it's literally taking off in the sky and it's moving really freaking fast. Oh my gosh, that thing made me feel like a freaking kid again. We have only spent 19,400 francs. In my opinion, I think Burundi is the cheapest country in the world. Now we are going to the beach by bicycle as transportation. All right guys, this is our beautiful Tanganyika Lake. This is where the most delicious fish in the world comes from. All right guys, we would like to swim, but the waves are too strong and the water is very dirty but we can enjoy ourselves Woo, okay so lunchtime and you know every time i think about eating in luxembourg i just get this like heap of anxiety like i kid you not a mid-tier restaurant here costs 70 dollars a person 70 freaking dollars and you know i thought about going back to a bakery but you know the thought of eating chocolate bread all day i mean it does sound pretty awesome but the thought of it i don't really think it would satisfy me or fill me up. But then I started to look up unique facts about Luxembourg and I found some. You see, Luxembourg is one of the highest foreign populations in the world at just about 50%. And my thought is whenever there's a new kind of foreign population, normally what follows is a cheap cultural food for those people. Oh my gosh, I instantly feel better. <laughs> Holy absolute crap. Take a look at the size of this thing. <laughs> it's literally like my head. It's almost like they took a panini and XL'd it, but put it in a pita roll and made it into a pita, but the pita was like five times the size. <laughs> Holy crap. So obviously we went with the kebab with beautiful shavings of pork, bunch of different types of vegetables, and then of course on top, the white sauce. In general, I like to summarize this as a beautiful mess of amazingness. I don't know, but the only thing about eating a kebab in a city is the pigeons tend to attack they're literally everywhere around me they're surrounding me okay get away get away get away kind of scared like they're really actually surround oh <laughs> and they they flew away with the car haha <laughs> humans win 
All right, guys, it's 12 p.m. We are hungry. Let's find a cheap restaurant to have lunch. Nuggies, nuggies. Here we have cassava bread called meat. It's one of the most popular foods in Burundi. And out of this comes at just 4,000 francs. So good. And now, of course, one of the best drink in Burundi, Viva Mall. Now, whenever I'm in a new city, I really want to throw myself into the culture. I really want to learn about it. I really want to see it. I typically do that from, you know, I don't know, visiting the top sites, maybe a museum. <laughs> but all of those in Luxembourg cost a lot more than $10. But the cool thing about Luxembourg, everywhere you walk, it feels like a freaking fairy tale and also an open museum. Like, for example, welcome to what's deemed as Europe's most beautiful balcony, Chemin de la Conge. And honestly, just looking around here, it looks like a freaking fairy tale. Like, this looks like it's just straight out of one of those, like, pop-up kids' books. Oh, okay, so dinner time. And my day, my day's officially taken a turn in a different direction, let's just say. As you can see around me, there is no city in the vicinity of this area. As we know, the food here at a restaurant is ridiculously expensive. But to be honest, dinner for me, it's it's an important meal, which is why I've come to this tree to climb it, to get some... No, I'm just joking, I'm not, I'm not gonna climb the tree. <laughs> Basically, why I'm in this forest here is because Luxembourg, like I said, is incredibly small. And in the city center, that's where those $70, $30 kind of plate meals are. However, my thought is, if I go a little bit outside the city, then there might be some places there. Oh my god, I think we struck gold. Uh, I mean, never did I think in my wildest dreams I was gonna say, It's pizza time. <sighs> but that's, ladies and gentlemen, what we have exactly right here. Simple but beautiful looking pizza roja. Which is a pizza dough with tomato sauce, topped with olive oil and spices, and of course, some Parmesan cheese. Honestly, I didn't know what type of pizza I would be getting for three euro. I mean, just have a look at that crust and take a listen. Oh. Simple, fresh, epically amazing. The sun is going to set soon. We are going back home to dress up and return downtown. So now I'm in the bars to downtown. I'm gonna show you guys how our capital Bujumbura look like in the night. <laughs> What we're gonna eat is called shawarma. There's meat inside and some fries. It costs 3,000 francs. Mm. So delicious, guys. So delicious. Okay, guys, I need your help to make a dream slash surprise come true. Colin told me that his dream was to get to a thousand subscribers. He absolutely crushed this video and challenge, so I need you guys to go subscribe to his channel right now. The link is in the description box below, so go subscribe. So he has no idea that I was gonna do this, so let's surprise him.